guys welcome to my channel today's video is going to be exciting I'm gonna be showing you guys some new makeup that I just recently got from Ulta I did place an order online there is one item missing from this order so the item missing from this order is actually what I was kind of most excited about it's the new elf powder foundation I've heard really good things about it and I'm really excited to try it but unfortunately it was shipped out separately from this order I think I am going to do like a first impressions on that product I have not done a haul in so long and I figured why not also I had so many built-up points on Ulta that I was able to use towards this order so yeah if you guys want to see the makeup that I recently picked up then let's just jump right in I did order all this online so it is still in the box so the first thing was actually a repurchase this is the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder you guys this is the best powder from the drugstore it is so so good um, I do get the color fair I love using this to set my under eyes it really does like blur my under eyes and smooths everything out it is amazing I also will go in with like a big fluffy brush and set this all over my face just to lock everything in place and this product makes my makeup last for such a long time I do have it on my under eyes and on my face as well I've gone through like two of these it is such a good drugstore product you would think this was high-end if this product was on Sephora and was high-end I would still purchase it that's how good it is if you're looking for a affordable powder definitely check out the um, fit me powder it's amazing next up we have some nails you guys I have been obsessed with these dashing diva gloss nails I have them on right now one of them did peel off these have been on my nails for two weeks you guys they are amazing and I'm actually always in water washing Noah's bottles or doing dishes or doing hair so I'm always in water and these are so good so what you do to apply these is you actually just put them on your nail and then you bend the sticker towards the end of the nail and file off the excess and they stay on for weeks you guys they are so good so so this is the style that I got I actually used to use the kiss um, glue on nails which I loved those for the longest time and I raved about them and then recently I don't know if they changed the glue or what it is but they do not stay on my nails as good as they once did and it's so frustrating so now I've just gone to these stickers and these last so long so I highly recommend and they have so many styles to choose from so yeah if you are someone that likes to do your own nails definitely try these next up we have this physicians formula butter bronzer I used to use this butter bronzer all the time and I couldn't find where I put it I feel like this looks a little bit different than the original okay so this packaging is definitely different I do not remember the bottom of it being blue like this but this is what the packaging looks like it still has that really nice like coconut smell to it this one does seem like a little bit lighter than I remember I think there was like a darker shade but I just went with this one this is such a good bronzer it goes on like butter it is my favorite one from the drugstore so I'm so happy to have it in my collection again you guys I did get the new Jaclyn Cosmetics Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint and the concealer. Let me know if you guys want to see a review on these products. I know there is kind of mixed reviews on these products. I've seen so many videos on both of these products. I feel like the Skin Perfecting Tint is definitely more of a hit. The concealer does not have the best reviews and I'm really nervous because my under eyes are definitely dry and I've heard that this is like very drying for the under eyes so I'm a little bit nervous. But let me know if you guys want to see a video on this. I don't even know if these shades are going to match me. I'm sure you guys have seen the packaging all over the place, but wow. Okay, so first impressions, this feels like a little bit lighter than I thought it would be because the way the packaging looks, it looks like it would be like really heavy, but it is plastic. It's not glass, which is actually good because I feel like glass is easy to break. This one is in the color Fair Lights. I'm hoping that it matches me. I am excited to try it. The concealer I did get was light neutral off like first impressions seem a little bit light. I do actually think that this shade might fit me. I am nervous to try it because of all the reviews I've been seeing, but we shall see. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on this. I know there's so many going around, but if you want to see my impression, let me know. Next product is this e.l.f putty blush in the color Turks and Caicos so I do actually own this in a different shade it is this super pink 
um, shade. I really wanted to try the Turks and Caicos shade because it is more of like a peachy color. I feel like this is going to be absolutely stunning in the summer. This formula is so good, you guys. Elf has been absolutely killing it. The makeup that they come out with is honestly amazing for drugstore. So this is what the shade looks like. It is more of like a peachy shade. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I cannot wait to use that. The formula on these are amazing. They blend out really nice. They look so nice on the skin. And again, amazing for drugstore quality. All right, this next product is another repurchase, but I haven't used this in so long. This used to be my favorite foundation, and I ran out of it and just never repurchased it because I was using other foundations in my collection. But lately, I've been feeling kind of like meh about my foundation routine. So I wanted to purchase this again. This is the Pure four in one love your selfie long wear foundation you guys this foundation is amazing so full coverage but looks so healthy on the skin i don't know what it is about this foundation but it really just does look flawless and it just sits on my skin so nice for reference i do have really dry skin and this just sits so nice on my skin so i did get the shade MN3. They have so many shades in this foundation as well, which is really, really nice because, I mean, it's 2022. If you don't have more than 20 shades, then you're doing it wrong. So excited to have this back in my collection. It is one of my top five foundations for sure. All right, so next up, I did get this e.l.f. brush. Now, the reason why I did get this is actually to use with the new e.l.f. powder foundation, e.l.f. complexion duo brush. So there's two different brushes. I feel like this brush would work really well with, with the new e.l.f. powder foundation. I'm really excited to use it. So e.l.f. brushes are amazing and so affordable. So had to grab that. All right, you guys, next up, another product from e.l.f. This is the new Jelly Pop melon glow set it comes with the dew primer and then the jelly pop glow stick i also meant to grab the new elf um primer i forgot the name of it it's in like a blue packaging i'm definitely going to grab that because i've heard really good reviews um about it so i'm really excited to try this if you guys have tried any of these products let us know down below what you guys think so this is what the packaging looks like for the jelly pop dew primer and this is the jelly pop glow stick so this is what it looks like it's kind of like a roll up Ooh, oh my god almost this is like something i've never tried before it gives that like wet look wow i'm really excited to try that and the smell of this smells amazing it smells like watermelon which is actually the vibe that i got i had a feeling that it was going to smell like watermelon and it does let me know if you guys have tried this because wow off the first impressions it seems like it's going to give like a wet look Wow, I'm really excited to try this. If you guys watched my What I Got for Christmas video, you would see that I did get the Jaclyn Cosmetics Lip Liner and Liquid Lipstick, and I loved the formulas, so I wanted to get some more shades. So I did actually pick up the lip liner in the shade Blondie. This seemed like a darker, kind of like nude. I definitely need more of like a dark nude shade all right so that is it swatch on my hand right there it looks like a really pretty like nude everyday shade so i'm really excited to try that and then i did get a lip color in the shade confidence so this one i thought was going to be maybe like a little bit more on the mauvey side because i feel like the description said that it was kind of like a mauvey pink now that i look at it it does kind of have like a mauvey pink undertone so that is it swatched right there it does look really really pretty a more peachy undertone rather than mauvey i thought maybe it was going to have more of like a mauvey undertone those are the tones i love to go for i really do love a more like cooler toned nude rather than like a warm tone just because i feel like it looks better on my skin tone but but i am excited to put this on my lips and try it out yeah it definitely does have a more kind of like warmer undertone but i am still excited to test this out and then the last product that i got is another repurchase this is the loving tan bronzing mousse in ultra dark this is my all-time favorite self tanner nothing has beat it i have tried so many different self tanners and this one is just my favorite what I love, love, love about this is it does not leave a sticky residue. I cannot stand when I apply self-tanner at nighttime before bed and it is sticky. I hate it. I can't stand sticky self-tanners. And this is not sticky. This is the darkest self-tanner I've ever used. It has such a nice undertone as well. By far my absolute favorite, favorite, 
favorite self tanner. I actually filmed a self tanning routine years ago. Like I'm talking years ago. I will leave it linked down below where I show like before and after and how I apply it. I know it's a super old video, but that is still the way that I apply it. So I will leave that link down below for you guys. If you do want to check it out, it is a mousse formula and I do apply it with a mitt. I do actually have a coupon code for a free mitt, so I will leave that down below for you guys if you do wanna test it out. Definitely my favorite, favorite self tanner by far. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this video. I know I haven't filmed a haul in so long, so I definitely wanted to sit down and film one for you guys. Let me know if you guys do wanna see a first impressions on the new Jaclyn Cosmetics products. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.